Good morning. It is Friday. Yay! Today we're going to make creative choices so we can create pieces. We're going to complete one activity from the choice board. Our question of the day is to look at these pictures. Do they look like people you know and could they be you? Just a reminder, there are three Fridays left in quarter two to get your work turned in. First thing we're going to do is review the choice board activities. We're going to learn about your basic tragic hero. We're going to go through our epilogue and then we're going to have a choice board uh, as always. So let's go to Canvas. On the home page, you're going to click on assignments. You're going to check in on your timer here to make sure the stuff is still unlocked for you. I'm going to click on Friday. And we're going to click on the tragic hero. It's all so sad. All right. The protagonist. He is the hero of our play in this Greek tragedy. And he is expected to experience a reversal of fortune. All right. Um, usually uh, in a uh, play, this would be because they have excessive pride or they're, they're feeling, you know, kind of like, uh, they're feeling themselves, basically. They're, they're all kinds of prideful. So an example would be Simba in The Lion King was being prideful uh, when he sang the song, I just can't wait to be king. Aristotle has named six elements that have to happen for your um, hero to be a tragic hero. You have to have the tragic flaw, uh, which is something that is wrong with you, um, that, that is tragic. <laughs> Too much pride. Uh, your hero has a discovery. Your hero has a change in fortune from being a higher status to a lower status. Fate intervenes and the hero cannot fight their fate because the gods have willed it so. And a catharsis, meaning the hero has an emotional purge where they get the feelings all out. So your tragic hero is your main character in your tragedy. They are a good person of noble birth, but they have a lot of pride or some other fatal flaw and therefore they're making mistakes. Remembering that in a tragedy, it's always about the hero who's making mistakes that they don't understand that it's mistakes, that they need to learn that they are mistakes and then humble themselves by fixing whatever has gone wrong. Oftentimes it is too late and their destruction is inevitable. Aristotle's three rules suggest that tragedy have a unity of place, time, and action. So for place, it is the setting being in one location. So like when we read Oedipus Rex, it only takes place on the steps outside the palace. The action, all the scenes are contributing directly to the main plot. All right, so we're not um, getting off topic. Everything is going in the same direction leading to the downfall. And then the line of action precedes a cause and effect chain. So everything is leading to something else. A leads to B, B leads to C, etc. We're not having like a secondary plot. In this structure, the chorus is very critical because they clarify for the audience what is going on. They can often um, like punish uh, your um, main character give warnings, they can give sympathy, uh, and they can interact with your main character and reiterate what's going on to the audience. Violence is never depicted on stage, remembering that all of that would happen off stage and that if you needed a body wheeled out, then you would put that on the eclima and show that they had been killed. Um, you'll have a late point of attack it would occur several scenes after the expectation, or, sorry, exposition. And you would have a frequent use of messengers.
your catharsis moment. This is a discussion post. Aristotle was big on the idea of catharsis or the power of emotionally purging. Uh, example, having a good cry to make you feel better or uh, gripping the edge of your seat in fear because you don't know what's going to happen next during in a tragedy. So I would like you to tell me what movie, book, play, or TV show has given you a cathartic moment like this? You can upload a picture, a movie, uh, a picture uh, from the movie, play, book, or TV show. You can add a link to a scene on YouTube that is school appropriate. Um, you can just describe it in a video of yourself describing it, or you can type out the answer. You also need to respond to at least two other people's cathartic moments. This is also another discussion post. It says, can you name a tragic hero from another story, movie, play, or TV show? There are so many popular um, items that, that they have tragic heroes. Um, so let's evaluate The Lion King, all right? So if you need to rewatch part of it, it's right here. Does it follow the rules of the Greek tragedy? And if it doesn't, where does it change? Let's let's name some. Name some of your favorites and tell us which elements of the tragic hero that they show in their tale of woe. Okay? So that's what we're that's what we're going to do. You're going to tell me. You're gonna tell me how this follows, how Lion King follows the rules of Greek tragedy and where it doesn't. And then I want you to tell me of another one of your favorite shows or TV show or book that does follow the, the line of a tragic hero as well. It may not have all of the areas, but if it has one or two, that would be good. This is another discussion post. We're very discussion heavy today. Top three Greek takeaways. Now that we've enjoyed our journey into the ancient Greece, what are three things that you want to remember about this unit? What are the top three interesting things you learned? And that's it. You have received your Greek laurel of completion and you have completed your laurel unit. It is all Greek to you now. All right. And as it is Friday, it is choice day. So make sure that you are doing a choice activity. You can do uh, the Padlet or you can do any of these other activities. If you're making art, you can do the art and crafting activity. If you're writing, uh, if you're still playwriting, you can write that. If you want to do some meditation, if we have time, we'll probably try and do one of these activities in class. Since most of today was discussions, there's a good chance we will have time to do something in class together. At this point, we would return to our slides. And I would ask you what assignment or discussion that you liked the most this week out of everything we did. And I would have you explain one real world connection that you made today. I would ask you to rate your learning one through four, and then you'd be released to finish your assignments. Well, guys, I love you so very much, and I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous holiday. And I can't wait to see you when you get back. Okay. Love you. Bye.